morning, GHS. I'm Sarah Satchel. And I'm Ty Latta. And this is the news for September 27th through October 1st. Volleyball home games next week are versus Huntsville on Monday and versus Pea Ridge on Thursday. Show up and support your Lady Lions. Friday, Gravit Football plays Prairie Grove at Prairie Grove. For lunch this week, we will have corn dogs or cheeseburger mac on Monday, tornados or tacos on Tuesday, beef fingers or baked chicken on Wednesday, pizza on Thursday, and hamburgers on Friday. Interested in making a video about your favorite book? The library is sponsoring a video contest. Join Mr. Galloway's enrichment this Wednesday to learn more info and to learn how to make a video. Missouri Southern State University will have a representative here at school on Thursday, September 30th during both lunches. It's time to meet a new teacher. Here's Brayden to introduce Mr. Garten. I'm here to tell you about the new teacher here at Gravit. Mr. Garden. Hey, thank you so much, Braden, for that. Yes. Yeah, I'm Mr. Garten, and guys, I am so excited. I can't wait to tell you about hey, what I do here. Hey, at... Sorry to interrupt, but, but I got some schoolwork that I need to do. I mean, I understand yeah, you're an actor, and right. you know, you do plays and stuff, yeah, and, and, and voice just, acting and all that. Yeah, but, but I got it. I, I Galloway's, <laughs> okay. uh, you know, we're right, on a tight I'll, thread right I'll, now. I'll, so. I'll let you do your thing. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Garden started his college experience at the University of Arkansas in Fort Smith. He then went on to go to Arkansas Tech and remained there until graduation. When Mr. Garden switched colleges, he changed his degree. He followed his love and passion and decided to major in theater. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I, I knew I wanted to act, but I wasn't sure if college was right for me. He was inspired to become a voice actor at a young age by watching cartoons such as the Looney Tunes, Doug and the cartoon character Goofy from Mickey Mouse. Mr. Garden has been part of approximately 30 different stage shows. Some of Mr. Garden's hobbies are watching football, playing video games, and hanging out with his family and two kids. I mean, absolutely in my free time, uh, I love playing with my family. I have, um, you know, a wife, uh, a daughter, and a son. Uh, so that, that typical all-American family, although we're anything but typical. Now that you know Mr. Garden, come experience some of the fun in his classes. Thank you so much, Brayden. This has been so much fun. It's been really cool. Sorry, sorry. Thanks, Brayden. Did you know that the Environmental Club planted a garden right here at school? Here's Ty to tell us all about it. Did you know that there are over 391,000 species of flowers known to scientists? Here at our school garden, we have about 10 species of flowers. Ms. Cluck and the Environmental Club worked on creating a garden last year before summer. There was a lot of work put into this garden, a lot from admins, students, and um, myself. It was a gigantic team effort. This year, it's in full bloom. It was a lot of effort from Mrs. Mitchell and myself. She watered it probably every other day, if not more often, and then I came up every now and then. From marigolds to sunflowers, the garden has different types of flowers. Zinnias, cosmos, sunflowers, milkweed, marigolds, some rattlesnake master, a lot of really cool native plants. I would love to expand this garden um, to whatever means we can, even if it goes into the community. That'd be awesome. With that in mind, flower season is almost over, but Ms. Cluck will have garden enrichments next spring to get the flower garden ready for the summer. Thank you, Ty. Let's all climb into the suburb and enjoy on GHS TV on the sixth stop of our summer road trip. Here's Chloe to take us to the 8th Street Market. been a very successful influx of small independent restaurants in Northwest Arkansas and here at the 8th Street Market in Bentonville there are plenty of restaurants here to try all in one area. 8th Street Market is in downtown Bentonville right next door to the beloved Momentary. It's a food focused hub which means that the area is full of restaurants and food trucks. The community concludes a growing group of people that work together in order for their business and revenue to grow. Not only is the market a good place for food but also for the locals. Local farmers are supported through the restaurants as they buy their crops and goods to serve the customers. 
This area of Bentonville is full of art like museums, shops, and galleries. 8th Street Market is no different and features artworks like murals, paintings, and statues, which are featured inside and outside of the restaurants. Downtown Bentonville is a staple that is full of life, art, music, and small businesses. And 8th Street Market hits the nail on the head by including these attributes with a welcoming and lively atmosphere. From tacos and sushi to ramen and steak, you can get your fill here at the 8th Street Market in Bentonville. Thank you, Chloe. That's all for this week. I'm Ty. And I'm Sarah. And, and we'll, we'll see you next week. week.